This is Excel 2016, Module 11, Part 8. In this segment, we will be looking at how to install or add PowerView as a button on your Insert tab. We will also show you how to remove it should you want to get rid of it at a later date. So we are working in our product report worksheet. For this particular segment, you don't have to be in that worksheet, but you will need to have that worksheet available to continue working in PowerView in the next section. To add a new button to our Insert tab, which will say PowerView, we need to go in and customize our ribbon. So we're going to choose File, Options, and then on our Excel options, you want to choose to customize the ribbon. Now over in the main tabs section, here on the right hand side, you want to click on the insert button. This is telling you which groups are on the insert ribbon. We want a new group. we want to rename that group. So we're going to click on the group and choose rename and we are going to type in power view and then click OK. The next thing we have to do is tell it what commands to put in that group on our ribbon. So we're going to go on the left hand side and instead of saying popular commands we need to change it to all commands and then we're going to scroll down until we find power view and they are alphabetical so you're going to have a ways to go down till you get to the P's and then you get to power view when you see Power View, you want to click on that object and then drag it into the Power View custom button or custom group that you added to your Insert tab. When you click OK, you now have a new button on your Insert tab. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to actually remove the tab if you no, or the button if you no longer want it. We will not actually be doing this. I will just show you what you would need to do. You go back to File and Options and choose to customize your ribbon. If you click on the Insert tab, you can come down here on Reset and choose to reset only the selected ribbon tab. That way it will reset your insert tab, but if you have made any other changes to your ribbon, it would not affect those. So that is one quick easy way of getting rid of that button if you no longer want it. And that concludes part eight.